Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. Today on Earth Focus, climate change, the video game. Take a look at a fate of the world and meet the man behind the game. Coming up on Earth Focus. Into video games? How about this for a challenge? Save the world from climate change. Fate of the World was produced by Red Redemption, an independent Oxford UK based company specializing in socially positive computer games. Gobi and Rollins is the man behind the game. We're making games on climate change because it's an interesting topic to cover. There's a lot of gameplay elements that have never been used before, and it's a challenge. It's, it's, you know, it's one of the biggest issues facing humanity right now, and as games designers, kind of, it's very important for us to use our skills in a way that kind of furthers the, the, de the debate. Anyone over 12 can play, though the average age for players is 35. Whatever the age, Roland says it's not only about fun. The game teaches critical thinking. So if there's one thing the game does, is equip players with more knowledge and understanding about what it is they're being presented with. What are the politicians saying? What do they really mean? What's really going on when you hear these things? So how does it work? You're in the year 2020, the world of the future. You run an international environmental agency which could save the Earth from rising greenhouse gas emissions. Using data from real-life climate models, you can play out different scenarios to try to survive for the next 200 years. But it's not easy. Natural resources continue to dwindle and the population continues to grow. You make the choices and you reap the consequences. Sound familiar? Fate of the world can be a virtual dry run for the very real challenges that we may soon face. So how do you win? It's about how well you complete your mission whether it's to save the world or not. But then if you're playing the Doctor Apocalypse mode, which we allow, uh, that allows players to get scored on how effectively they destroy the world. Fate of the World presents the complexity of climate in a way that players can easily understand, and they do. It's the second climate game in a series developed by Red Redemption. Climate Challenge, a game developed with the BBC in 2007, focused only on Europe, and it had a significant impact. We follow up each of our games with um, various research projects. And the follow up from our previous game, Climate Challenge, was that something like 65% of our players came away with substantially more knowledge about the subject than they did when they went in. Scientists, policy advisors, and economists were all part of the game's development team. Computer prediction models came from Oxford University. We're all gonna lose if we don't tackle the climate change problem. The one thing about working on this game has taught me is that the science is unequivocal. It is absolutely overwhelming. And game makers hope that as players tackle climate change in the virtual world, they may be more apt to take action in the real one. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.